Hey guys, so today I'll be reacting to a video about, you know, when Modi came to visit us in Israel. Um, we took him to like so many places, so this is one of those places. He's actually um, meeting an Israeli Indian people. It was just like, just for the Indian community in Israel. Um, he came with Bibi, of course. and. Um, some of this video is like in Hebrew, some of this in English, but like Bibi, like Benjamin Netanyahu, he's like, when he's saying something in Hebrew, he's immediately saying this after this in English. So, um, so we did not thought we need to like add like subtitles or something. Um, yeah, so let's watch it. It was such a big deal for like all the people from like Indian heritage. <laughs> We are in a historic place. Your visit of two ancient people seizing the future. There was a, a time, a few decades ago, and a few years ago, when this natural partnership was somehow frozen. There was a young woman, He's like the uncle. He's asking if they understand his English. So there was a young woman. Uh, her name was Tzipora Meir, a young Jewish woman in Cochin. She wrote an essay 50 years ago, just before the Sixth Day War. And the essay was the deep desire she had to see the partnership between India and Israel. She won a prize for that composition. But, but, but it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Sipola Meir, like so many of you, came to Israel, built her home here, contributed to her life, maintained the love of Indian Jewish customs, prayers, and continue to hope that one day Israel and India will form this partnership and this friendship. Sipola. Sipola and her husband Sasson, who are here today, that day has come. That day is today. Prime Minister Modi and I have decided on a vast program to bring our partnership and our friendship to new heights. But we always remember that there is a human bridge between us. You. We admire you. We respect you. We love you. And here is what is happening today. Seventy years ago, our countries achieved independence. Israel achieved independence. India achieved independence. And our countries rise and rise and rise and rise. And now they meet. Today.
We have decided to cooperate in so many areas, but there's one area that really guarantees the future. And Prime Minister Modi speaks of it all the time. It's the young people, the young people of India, the young people of Israel. So, Indian students are coming here, we're very flattered. Israeli young people are going there, but there is something that we want to achieve. Today, when Israelis go to India, they go backpacking. They go on what is called the Hummus. Like the most common places Israeli will be. There are signs in Hebrew. You hear Hebrew spoken. Shmila Hummus. The Hummus. I want to see young Indians come here backpacking on the curry train. I, want... I don't want many. Just an equal proportion. Everything will be fine. But we are building this future today between us, between our two great democracies, between our two ancient peoples who believe in the future. It's a partnership made in heaven, but it's happening right now, here on earth, today. Welcome, Prime Minister Modi, my dear friend. Welcome to Israel. I have to say first that I really like um, when Benjamin Netanyahu did like the Israel, India, and then they meet and then they're together. That was really, I don't know, that was awesome. It's actually like such a smart way to do it. Like every time right now I'm going to do like this to people from India, I'm going to think about this, like India, Israel together, like hi, um, that was great. And the fact that all those people are actually from India, well, they're originally from Israel, um, but they have to leave Israel and then they've been to India, which again is the only place that Jews did not suffer all this crazy, um, crazy hate stuff. Um, so again, thank you India for that. So it was the story about Tsipoa, it was something so weird because in that time, like before even the Six Days War, it was like to think that that a country will wanna talk to us um, was not something people would dream about. A lot of times, like people told me that before the Six Days War, we were like, okay, everyone is hating us. People decided um, there was a lot of fields um, that right now are like buildings and stuff, but they were preparing them to be a massive graveyard because we were sure that after this war um, there will be like no more Israel and again just like the old days we have to leave this country again and like you know be at the mercy of the other countries and pray to come back um, so when this did not happen and we we won was by the way was a shock not to the people who tried to kill us but also to us um that was weird but then suddenly things that were like not like things that we thought they're not like, in, like not possible are actually starting to happen like we yeah we made this country and right now we actually have a connection with india with indian government because um Israeli people will always travel to India um, as long as like you know we can do this um, doesn't matter what if the government is like pro Israel or not because again there is like a government and there are actually people and most of the Israelis are just like not working for the government so we're just like people who want to go um, and see India so this is amazing this is incredible the fact that your prime minister actually came to israel and this is something that never happened before so that was so weird for us and again just like when we thought everyone are like going to kill us um we didn't believe um like india like the prime minister of india will come here because we were like 
Yeah, sure. He's like in India, you always see like the Israelis backpack and just like going to find themselves and like who want to go to the place where people are like going from there to find themselves. But apparently you guys did. The last thing I want to say is that what he said in the end is something that I'm always trying. When I'm talking to you, you're always asking me like, oh, when are you going to see, like, when are you going to visit India? And I'm always like, when are you going to come to Israel? A lot of Israelis are traveling to India and not a lot of Indian are traveling here. And I think this is just like, I don't know, I think, I feel like you're missing something. Like, if you really want to understand Israel, you need to come to Israel. Um, just like how I'm planning to travel to India to see the the real India. Um, when I'm planning to go to India, I'm not going to do like only the Hummus Trail. I'm also, I want to see all these cool places. I'm gonna, I want to meet you guys. Um, so I really hope one day I'm just like going to walk in my street um, of my city and suddenly I'm going to see people from India coming to see Israel and to see what my country has to offer them um also you know i don't know come here and work here and live here and i don't know just like let's be friends um yeah so that's it thank you so much for staying and listening to me blabbing about this thank you so much for watching this video um if you like it please give it a thumbs up if you want to support us please subscribe to this channel it means a lot and let us know in the comments, like, did you enjoy this video? Did you, what did you thought about, like, Israelis people coming to your country? And when do you planning to come to visit me in my country? Um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.